very good morning to students today the open cast mind uh, the layouts of the open cast mind you are going to be learn in today 50 minutes uh, lecture the methodology by ppt and video lecture method uh, it is simple layout problem uh, giving here i explained uh, all the activities uh, going on in that uh, particular mind capacity what are the activities required? What are the need to meet the uh, the production target, the monthly or yearly production target? So, what are the essential uh, uh, things will be coming to the picture? These things all of the coming to call as a layout problems. So, well known. My name is Karuna Kumar, HOD Mining, Government Political Education, Department of Education, Telangana State. So the object of the, uh, the, the, the base object is the layout of problems. So the top, entire topic will be covered in the one, a simple layout problem. Now, let us come to the a simple layout problem. I'm giving you the example. This is an example based on that one. I will carry forward the how uh, you elaborate the problem. Draw a layout for a surface limestone mine with an output of 10,000 ton per day in the flat deposit. So, this is the problem uh, he was given here. 10,000 ton per day capacity uh, limestone mine. They have to design. So, how depending upon the number of benches, number of uh, limestone benches, number of OB benches, the how much capacity of equipment you are deploying, how to transport is a mechanism. What are the drilling and blasting? How much you will be getting to meet the depending upon the value of the limestone? The I think 2020 uh, limestone cost is around 800 to 2500 depending upon the quality and gradient of the, the limestone with the gray or in color or in you know, white in color depending upon the uh, marketing price to meet the our uh, 10,000 ton per day capacity as well as economic away so such things we are going to be elaborated discussing in a simple layout problem for example is concerned now let us uh, following points to be considered the thickness of the limestone deposit uh, assume that 30 meters so the deposit thickness is 30 meters the gradient is a flat already i have given there is a gradient is a flat in nature Overburden and topsoil with the thickness around 3 to 4 meters. Overburden and topsoil. Overburden and topsoil with the thickness around 3 to 4 meters. Overburden and topsoil with the thickness around 3 to 4 meters. That is a, you can say OB. So 30 meters, around 4 to 5 meters, the uh, thickness of the OB. That is a topsoil you can make it Deposits are quite sufficient and the life of the mine is around 30 years so 30 years so you can be 10000 into per day means uh, how much you are per year you're getting and divided by the 30 years that is a major the deposit entire deposit can be so there will be railway siding is also there uh, for the transportation of the linkage to the industries going most of the limestones are not linkaging the limestone, but sometimes they will be nearby railway station. Uh, opportunities available. Sometimes you may road transportation by road also uh, transportation is going on. Let a cement plant is also location is important. So the both factors are very important for limestone is a raw material for using for the cement purpose. The cement industry uh, should be located here by here. So, railway siding you can be possible. You know, we can see the from um, uh, Vijayawada to Jagai Peta and uh, cement, uh, they are reborn, train uh, facilities there because the, from cement factory to raw, the finished product can also transport expressives required. So, these are the uh, important uh, accepts uh, uh, you have to, uh, you have to uh, consider, you have to consider, uh, limited plant is located in there. Uh, if it is a life is 30 years, if the life is 30 years, if the cement plant is not located very near to the limestone mine, mechanization of mine will not be possible. 
since the cost of the limestone is a 2020 price uh, year where gray color is uh, around 2000 tons to 2400 tons uh, to the per ton at the cost of uh, marketing a white color is around 5005 tons a maximum huh? uh, these are the depending upon the so that uh, these two factors you have to brown in mind the cement plant as well as uh, railway siding or sometimes road transportation is also essential uh, an alternative is not there at all these should be in brown in mind while the establishment of the linkage of the projects of the limestone is concerned right uh, now i'm going to next slide so there is a simple uh, Right, this is one a table I've given here. Uh, some approximate idea from approximate idea about the bench dimension and uh, number of benches in open cast mine for flat deposit. Depending from the this is we can say already uh, flat you zero to seven degrees. So combination uh, the excavator shovel, drag line, uh, front end loader, transportation motor truck, dumper, mobile depressions with the ang high angle conveyor. These are the required. Uh, so, in a simple example, I am showing here one table uh, the, which is collected from the textbooks. Once I, right. Here, you, are, you can observe here. Uh, the thickness of the deposit, for example, 0 to 12. So, how much OB be required? 0 to 12. Production, 0 to 4000 tons. Height of the bench, coal or mineral, 0 to 12. OB bench, 0 to 12. If OB is concerned. Minimum width of the bench, 25 to 40, 40 meters. And OB, 25 to 40. Coal or mineral, maximum number of benches, 1 and 1. So, this is the uh, general tendency we have to maintain. And other, coming to thickness of the 12 to 20, 12 to 20, or be also thickness of 12 to 20. If similar is the production, 4000 to 10,000, you're expecting. Height of bench, 6 to 10, 6 to 10, or 12 to 12. And minimum width of the bench, 25 to 40, because the movement of the vehicle is required to dump or so on. So, earlier, uh, our uh, design of access to the dumper uh, with the two, three and a half times is uh, required for the movement of the vehicle. So, such conditions also you have to. Uh, width of the bench should be maintained so 2r and 2 and r and the thickness of the, uh, the third uh, thickness of the uh are called 12 to uh, 12 to 20 so 25 to 45 4000 to uh, 10000 uh, around production required per ton and here i will given the 6 to 10 so 12 to 12.5 that is the next minimum width of the bench is 35 to 40 so 40 to 55 there is a maximum number of uh, benches coal mineral is a 2 and this is a 2 so thickness of the coal mineral 12 to 20 thickness of the ore body is 36 to 60 so 4000 to 10000 is a production requirement uh, ton uh, per day and the height of the bench uh, coal or mineral is a 6 to 10 and op is 8, 18 to 18 to 30 and uh, minimum width of the bench is the 35 to 40 is a 45 to 60 maximum number of benches 2 and 2 and uh, similarly thickness of the coal or mineral uh, both uh, the same so 10000 to 20000 production required per ton per day so this is the our the two cases is uh, our uh, present limestone means is falling so number of uh, height of the bench 6 to 10 and 10 to 15 80 to 30 over bench, 10 to 30 by 80 bench, and 35 to 40, 35 to 40 per over movement of the vehicle width is given. So, two to two benches is almost four benches, around four benches as per the our problem is concerned. 50 with the falling over the um, layout problem. So, that you can two or two or one uh, OB benches and two limestone bench can be uh, farming for the mineral is concerned. So, similarly, another two conditions also is given uh, for the more things. Next, a description about the, our mining layout. For a production of over 10,000 ton per day, number of production benches, how much production benches required as per the, these concerns is around two, two production benches required. 
so num uh, height of the mineral bench is around uh, 10 meters so you can be maintained uh, 10 meter slope of the mineral bench is 65 degrees slope of the mineral bench is 65 degrees so for the uh, which is uh, 65 degrees so here i have some uh, layout is i showing the limestone mine for white color uh, next uh, coming to the top soil uh, so top soil concern uh, removal of thickness is 0 to 3 meters already our top soil is 3 to 0 to 3 meters thickness is there so how to uh, remove the top soil is a very essential thing the one of the uh, out where to your uh, dump that uh, top soil uh, using either dozer or uh, front end loader starting for a low production capacity mine and above or 0 to 200 meters distance uh, to travel the waste rock from the mine site to the in around the mine uh, we are using the front end loader or dozer can be sufficient for if example we have more than uh, 200 meters to 500 meters use a scrapper sometimes use a, a scrapper uh, for low production capacity mine mm, it is always better if the scrapper machine is uh, hired for medium and uh, high capacity mine it should be uh, permanent uh, permanently it should be permanently employed if required a ripper may be deployed it is also sometimes a ripper may be also deployed for other purpose and coming to the uh, 500 meter to 500 meter and above Front end loader and rear dumper. Dumper companies is the best uh, position proposition. So these are the uh, general uh, removal of the OB, the equipment required uh, conditions. Right. This is the conditions. Coming to the complete layout that. This is a complete layout of the mine. Which right. is very clear. Now it is clear. So now more, more visibility is there here. Uh, now one by one, we explain the high here. You see here. This is the section view. From this part is a section view. Uh, once uh, the section view, you see, you can see this is the plan. This is the plan view. So all the top soil it will be dumped in around the mine site. This is the top soil. This is the top soil. So for uh, taking the top soil from here to here, there is a, a mission mechanized is required. There is a dozer combination. So dozer will be completed this operation with the combination of a uh, pedal or a scrapper can be used for the removal of it. So once exposing the uh, OB bench, almost one or two bench OB benches are will be forming depending upon thickness. So three meters you say for, uh, so that one or two OB benches are formed. This is the one bench. This is the another bench. This hatch position show the slope D. Uh, sloping nature here i showing this is the sloping nature this is so this is the top soil first mineral bench is formed here so next down similarly this side also both sides once uh, mineral bench is opened that will be extracted by the shovel and dumper combination uh, the drilling and blasting activities are going to deconcentrate the material that will be transportation uh, they are using here uh, wagon vehicles, but nowadays uh, the mine site itself there is no wagon uh, transportation system. Uh, railway siding is not using. There is a dumper and uh, um, Volvo uh, operations. Most of the um, Volvo, Volvos are using for the transportation. Here uh, the railway casting uh, establishment uh, wagons coming the high capacity, of course. But uh, these facilities, uh, most of the limestone are fast food. But uh, they are power into the in CHP or nearer by any uh, handling of the limestone or uh, railway siding. But here I am showing the road railway tracks because the railway track is near, near to that part. So sometimes they are using uh, transportation, general transport system we are applying here. 
So this is the uh, simple layout uh, for the limestone mine is concerned. So from here, uh, what are the equipment required? How to drilling uh, basting is uh, activities going on? How much production and yield is coming? How to power factor calculations? In the coming slides, I'm going to the explain. Please, uh, once at Galance, uh, see the act, what are the activities going on in the uh, this layout. Right. Then next, I go to the next slide. Considering the transportation distance uh, around uh, uh, 200 uh, meter, use dozer uh, come ripper combination to excavate the transport loose topsoil in the traverse direction, both sides. So that is that is easily understand here. Over here, I am showing the. Uh, one dozer and a scrap and a dumper, they will be topsoil removing here from the here to here. Here to here, there is a 200 meter around. Sometimes you require more than uh, this is a uh, you know, coal benches. There is a draw line around 300 to 500 meters. They can be transported by uh, shifting nature. There is strip uh, nature they will transport one place to other. Now, since the deposit is a flat, since the deposit is a flat. Uh, 10,000 ton of ore production per day at a haul distance around uh, 2 kilometers is necessary. Since the deposit is the flat in nature, uh, 10,000 ton of ore production per day is a haul distance around 2 kilometers is necessary. So that uh, uh, transportation 2 kilometers is the effect is there for our mine is concerned. Then what how to selection of the excavators. Now I am going to excavator part. Uh, Excavating part. So for uh, bench height 0 to 10 meters for uh, medium capacity, excavator used for front end loader and rear dump uh, dumper combination on the shovel and rear dump dumper combination in any far off formation. Uh, Sometimes if a rail is there, rail transportation is using. For bench height 10 to 20 meters for a high capacity excavators, shovel or drog line, any rock formation can be used. But most of the limestone not using drog line. Because of coal farm, will be more depth or more subsoil, more topsoil if nature is there. Then you go through drug. Otherwise, the shovel dumper, payload dump, these combinations. Most of limestones are going for the drug. Land. But I giving the 10 to 20 meters. The large limestone mines in North India are using drug land also. For high capacity excavation, using bucket wheel excavator. In a soft rock formation, transport system, uh, maybe belt conveyor or rail. For bench height 20 to 30 meters, use a drug line in any rock formation. So, for bench height more than 30 meters, you go through for the use only drug line for the bench more than 30 meters. This is exclusively useful information. So, drug line should be go for the those very, very area um, more than 30 meters, you should be go through the uh, exclusively for a drug line bench. So, sometimes bucket wheel excavator can also use from 20 to 30, more than 30, we go through drug line. So, below the 30, better to shovel dumper combination. Below 10, the rare dumper paid or can be used. This is the general excavator, the selection excavators uh, for uh, concern. So, thumb rule you can observe that in 0 to 10 meters, you go through for the uh, rare dumper combination of the shovel, rare dumper combination. Uh, for bench height 10 to 20 meters, high capacity shovel drog line can be utilized. For bench height 20 to 30 meters, only use for the drog line any rock formation. For bench height is exclusive use for the drog line only. So these are the, the four categories of the selection of the excavators. Excavator for the any open cast mine. Now I coming to the next selection. 
there is a this is for medium so next x quarter is going to uh, production coal benches uh, 0 to 2 meters uh, use the scrapper of a combination of a front end loader and rear dump dumper for a low to high production rate uh, depending upon the strata conditions if the strata continuous permits surface continue continuous surface miner can also be efficiently used for a low to medium production rates for bench height 2 to 6 meters uh, use either front end loader and a rear dumper dump dumper combination or shovel and a rear dump dumper combination front end loader and dumper combination is the best uh, position a rope haulage and a rail system may also be used if a condition permitted for bench height 6 to 10 meters use a shovel and a rear dump dumper combination rail transport system may be also be used for bench height more than uh, 10 meters use a shovel and a rear dump dumper combination for low to high rate of production in any rock formation, rail transport system may also be used. So use bucket wheel excavator in soft rock formation for low to medium rate of production, belt conveyor and rail transportation system may also be used. So this is for the production benches concern. Now coming to the minimum product per day per shower dumper combination. Uh, how, what, which mission, what type of mission you can be uh, utilizing? Uh, generally, the hydraulic shovel uh, can be bucket 0.9 meter cube uh, capacity with the 8 ton uh, tip trunk creek is suitable. So, minimum production is 400. So, you can observe here the combination of the uh, things. If it's simple, 1 ton uh, capacity shovel. So, 8 ton truck can be combination. Almost a small. The, we can expect uh, minimum 400 tons uh, per capacity of the that day. So similar 2.5 meter good diesel hydraulic shovel with 25 ton dumper combination, you can expect 800. So similarly, uh, 2.5 meter cube electrical hydraulic shovel with 25 ton dumper, uh, we can expect 1200 uh, meter cube uh, production. Similarly, 3.2 meter cube electrical hydraulic shovel with 35 ton dumper, 1750. And similar 3.6 uh, electrical hydraulic shovel with uh, 35 ton dumper so 2000 4 meter cube electrical hydraulic shovel with 35 ton dumper that is a 2100 4.5 meter cube electrical hydraulic shovel with 35 ton dumper 2300 so 4.6 meter cube electrical rope shovel with 35 ton dumper 2000 5 meter cube electrical rope shovel with 35 ton 2100 5.5 meter cube electrical hydraulic shovel with 40 ton uh, down dumper coal hauler 3000. 6.3 meter cube electrical rope shovel with 50 ton dumper 2700. 8 meter cube electrical rope shovel with 50 ton dumper 33. Uh, 3300 meter cube you can expect. 8.3 meter cube hydraulic shovel with 50 ton dumper. You can expect to 43. Uh, 100 uh, meter cube cap, uh, production 10 meter cube electrical rope shovel with a 85 ton dumper this combination is very suitable so here in our know, coal mines most of them is a uh, 10 meter cube uh, electric shovel capacity almost 85 ton dumper is a combination so more than 10 meter cube uh, electrical shovel must be 120 dumper is very suitable we can expect 6000 meter cube capacity so 20 meter cube uh, capacity 120 most of these is not available up to here we can be coal mines also using so this is the a combination of the a shovel and dumper why is the talk uh, dumper combination suited so number of passes if the 80.9 adult shovel using the 180 the how much time will be waiting time because the filling of the dumper will be take more much more time instead of that one the combination minimum passes four or five passes if the filling of the dumper and moving there the queue no more no queue and more transport more production can be expected in the Tra traveling from the uh, that uh, production place to the uh, end place now coming to the next uh, mineral st uh, st mineral rock and approximate specific gravity generally these are the uh, influence factor for the calculation of the bucket capacity calculations uh, 
damper calculations for which and some of the mineral will be in low specific gravity so that more quantity can be expected but volume is more uh, such case uh, you can't uh, move more quantity so in a such case we have know the uh, how much the uh, each mineral has specific gravity i am showing here the coal is 1.5 bituminous coal is 1.3 to 1.45 Lignite 1.2, uh, coal ROM 0.85, bulk density, sandstone 2.5 to 2.6, ore burden 1.8 to 2.4, limestone 2.6, hematite 5, bauxite 2.4 to 3.5, asbestos 2.4, mica 2.8, galena 7.5, uh, magnate 5.0, 5 uh, chalcoprite 4.2, Sulfurite 4.0, lime and lemonite 3.8, dolomite 2.8. These are the general specific gravities of the VNC. When I'm saying galena is a more compatible. So depending upon that one, uh, our uh, equipment selection is also uh, is uh, the specific gravity is influencing. Now coming to the from above tables, the matching factor production will be swivel and trial transport system. A table is given the most of minimum production per day with the two shift operation by the 3.2 meter cube electro hydraulic shovel uh, with the 35 ton number uh, will be around uh, will be around 1750 with the rail transport combination three shift operation will be around 2004 uh, you see that approximate specific gravity limestone is 2.6 so the rainbow table we are apply our limestone mine is which category coming if the rail transport is suitable uh, the specific gravity is suitable in situ rock so if a parameter sebo parameter can be applicable uh, bulk density around 2, therefore 2 electrical travel of the bucket capacity around 3.2 meter cube will be sufficient to production of the amount of the 10,000 ton limestone. So our target will be reached with this combination. So we are choosing the bucket capacity of the 3.2 meter cube and 2 electrical hydro travel is sufficient for the uh, our 10,000 tons of meeting. So this is the selection process. And coming to the total number of shifts are considered 4, out of which 3 production shifts and 1 is a maintenance shift. So generally, Three shifts are there. We are using the four shifts generally. The hours will be varying. In May, I assume that there will be not uh, 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 there will be not very much cost uh, difference between the shovel of capacity and so purchase and uh, purchase of 3.6 meter shovel, which has much higher potential potential production and productivity. Now. It is found that maximum amount of investment uh, for plant and machinery in the first phase uh, is the rupees uh, uh, 18 crores. Since the life of the mine is 30 years, uh, quite a lump sum uh, money can be spent for the development work. Other infrastructure facilities uh, and also uh, for the purchase of plant and machineries. So here I am showing the limestone uh, sorry, activities are going on. So actually that combination uh, I already earlier discussed shovel with the capacity of a uh, damper combination. So 3.5 meter cube we can sufficient uh, for the our uh, bed cap um, damper size. So at most of the 20 ton capacity or 30, 30 tons capacity will be sufficient for the moving of the 10,000 meter. So this is the limestone. Uh, Periphery uh, top view of the video showing here. Now, it's coming to the this is the mining equipment, total numbers, cost of each item. Uh, so, how much labor did you including the, the 10,000 meeting? How much cost is also you have to uh, calculation is required? So, as per the above table, you require the two showers that is 3.6. Uh, I think this is the data will be old data uh, that is around 90s the cost of each item will be now uh, the cost will be varying it will be compared to the present rates we go through the Jumco or uh, BML or what are the LNTR uh, commercial uh, LNT manufacturers uh, BHL manufacturers according to that this fact will be varying uh, this is not the current correct data because uh, present data is not different now uh, 2020 data uh, this table these two table can be compared with the present uh, um, dates so now i required the two shovels for a uh, meeting 
100 mm drill is required three numbers one is standby two is required 25 ton rollers one is required jeep two is required maintenance van one is required fuel truck is one is required explosive van one is required 35 ton rear discharge jumper for boxes two is required the pump one plus one standby two is required and also five mbua transformer two is required so this is the general thing uh, compared with the cost uh, today marketing rate we can be calculated the how much uh, uh, requirement is have come to the other equipment is to be pro uh, proceeded dozer come repair combination uh, to compressors uh, 7 to 9 meter cube per minute capacity and number uh, depending upon the quality quantity of the compressor air requirement jack hammer drill is three numbers water sprinkle is one number portable workshop uh, contain, containing all the equipment for the repairing including a portable electrical welding set gas current arrangements these are also required factors and coming to the office equipments typing machinery xerox machine this is a pit uh, head uh, office office requirement is also there so that to be you are including in our uh, cost of that one the blueprint image survey equipment various monitoring equipment so gps is required total session is required uh, presently um, gps tag also using so these are the also additional uh, uh, work, uh, workshops so maintenance of the main workshop is required for the repairing of the dumpers uh, other fuel uh, problems or uh, mechanical uh, maintenance is required a small workshop along with the necessary machinery equipment for repair maintenance and overhauling of heavy earth moving and other mining machinery is uh, required then i go through next the main uh, mine uh, management has also to be come under contract agreement uh, with the uh, railway department for the laying of the railway lines and also supplying the railway wagon every day to the mine management for this reason management has to pay the quite lump sum amount of the money from the rail department yes this is required because of the, they are using the wagon they have n type o, s type o, uh, depending upon the bottom or closer bottom open type this is a side open side open opposite. these boxes are be rates or will be hired from the uh, indian railways uh, depending upon the, the availability or they are supplying the uh, transportation of the limestone so coming to the method of working first uh, all uh, remove, remove any tree or bushes present over the sides of the quarry grab the tree stumps either with the help of the bulldozer or simply by the drilling and blasting operation uh, scrappy the ground after uh, scrapification is over uh, dozer and loosen soil rock with the help of the bulldozer may clean the mining site a box cut is to be excavated over the soil and uh, the limestone deposit along the longitudinal direction divide the uh, equally the whole property box cut is to be made in our early class also you are uh, aware that what is being by box cut uh, the triple joidl cross section uh, how it is forming and what is the location also box it is made by the drilling and blasting uh, uh, method uh, marking and transportation of both overbed and top soil and limestone will be done with the help of the shovel and dumper combination along with the dozer when the sufficient bench width will be available then uh, start uh, winning of limestone mineral and uh, at the same time start excavation of uh, dozing and uh, striking properly the top soil around the boundary of the deposit the this dozing is to be done in the traverse direction in both the faces of the benches a clearance space around 37 to 40 meter from the edge of the bench is necessary rail trucks are laid longitudinally as shown in uh, figures above uh, clearance also you have to maintain uh, don't take in consideration of the scattering of the blast results muck piling so that the letter does not affect the rail line and hindering the movement of the railway wagon now short uh, shorting cap is provided to divert the uh, empty wagons to other phase or uh, store empty wagons uh, there itself position of the shovel for the loading over onto the wagon movement of faces in the longitudinal direction and movement of the bench in the traverse direction has been shown in the pro figure after taking one slice 12 meter width of the bench all along the longitudinal length the rail lines are to be transferly shifted keep in the minimum distance 13 to 15 meter away from the bench edge After the finishing the first bench, second and thin bench branches are to work uh, successfully. Uh, the ore to be transported by the surface. Locomotives and wagon which are to be tripped by tripler 
instead of a cement factory is concerned. Uh, other uh, selection of the drills also very important because of uh, the hardness of the, the strata, very hard rock, uh, you go to the percussive rotary, percussive drilling. For a medium rock, you go to the use uh, rotary, percussive, rotary, percussive drilling. Uh, whole length is also spacing button is also you have to maintain for uh, coal uh, for over pension uh, these are the uh, different type of uh, sizes uh, drills are you are uh, chosen uh, as per our requirement which go through the solution so drilling is a major activity so height of the bench 10 meters spacing is 4 meters and button is 3 meters by design number of rows you have to blast 4 so width of the blast is 3 into 4 is equal to 12 so number of faces is 2 so by this you have to calculate the for bench uh, 19.6 for length blast is the length is came similarly number of holes is required is the 96 holes are required the four shifts for 160 maintenance uh, how much length hole is coming to for that uh, particular uh, given including a sub drill <laughs> so diameter hole is 100 mm pattern of blast hole is a multi v uh, explosive use a charge for delay. <coughs> so, initiation both the downline and uh, truck line and cortex, and six to ten million number of delay are used. So, pumping and drain system is also on a part. Uh, the pit floor should be sloped towards the extraction side or one drain out drain water during the monsoon. Drain and ditches are to be excavated if necessary for following uh, right towards the sum for proper drainage or the mine water and also to be accommodated to the rain water. Efficient capacity sum should be located at the lowest and end point of the pit. Capital sum should be of the 24 hours average rainfall during the monsoon in a year. Let the average uh, total uh, accumulated water per day uh, during the monsoon is around 1500 meter cube per day. And the capacity of the sum shall be around 1500 meter cube. The pump in this case selected in a multi stage centrifugal pump. If the average running time of pump is around 8 hours, then the quantity of water to be pumped per hour is uh, you can be simply calculated uh, uh, per second. 52.011 seconds with also pumping capacity is required depending on the water nature of the, the particular site is concerned. Hence, a multi stage centrifugal pump having a discharge capacity uh, around 80 liters per second, the 50 meter head, uh, 112 kilowatts motor power will be sufficient to handle that amount of water the pump will have to also more potential to handle more quantity of water if uh, there is a heavy rainfall but in a precautionary measures on a standby pump is also required kept in resort if necessary one more uh, centrifugal pump of capacity around uh, uh, 200 liter for the along with the uh, to be kept uh, reserve to deal any emergency situation so in most of the cases it has been seen that excavation of the mine floor except a small patch of the purpose of the suction range of the pump only. For mapping sump of 24 hours accumulated water, capacity is not possible. Therefore, the lowest point of the mine is slanted in such a manner that water is accumulated at the corner point at the bottom most point place from where water is pumped out with the help of the uh, Pantone mounted centrifugal pumps you can be used. But if it is a found that heavy amount of water percolated from the mineral body or body, then uh, 18 mm to 12 mm uh, dia bore holes are sunk into the strata, which are link, uh, linked with the uh, casing, and accumulated water is uh, pumped out to, for the bore hole with the help of uh, around 400 to 500 mm dia bore hole pumps. Land recommendation, these are the, the general activities, but uh, at the same time, land. After completion, you are the social responsibility to the environment is concerned. So, after total weaning of the limestone, uh, presently the Environmental Protection Act 1986 or uh, Forest Conservation Act or uh, Environmental Clearance is also itself and Environmental Impact Assessment 2020 the recent notification is also very clearly mentioned that uh, you have to restore the uh, original land 
or near it to the original rock. So that concept of land recommendation is a, the one of the big uh, uh, responsibility of the uh, management. After totally weaning the limestone, the mined out area is to be filled up with the overburden material. If it is available from the nearby open cast mine, since uh, in this case, uh, no overburden except uh, topsoil is available in some insufficient quantity. If overburden dump are not available from the nearby mine, that part of the open cast mine is to fill with the uh, five meter thick filler layers. Some of the we have to restore it. So but this is the one important aspect of the environmental is concerned. Over which layer of soil is to be laid leveling uh, up to the surface uh, according to the chronological sequences. As it was in the, uh, some year in mining recognition, the dozers are to be fully placed starting from the doge, filling, leveling, and for making final grinding towards the unfilled area. Before tree plantation, bio fertilization of the topsoil is very essential. Uh, the filled portion of the excavated areas to be ameliorated, bio fertilized by the towing agent. So, for a generation of the microbiota, after bio reclamation of the reclaimed land shall be developed into a pasture land and a deforestation is to be carried out by the plantation <clears throat> of fast growing trees plants like a cashew, no, arclota. Bamboo, lion, equine, not uh, This type, this different type of, uh, which is the suitable for the particular location. Uh, this type of uh, uh, forest department can be give the different type of the uh, plants can be uh, uh, planting in the reclamation uh, over button area. The unfilled uh, portion of the mined out area should be converted to water pond, lake, water harvesting, fish farming, recreation is like swimming pool, uh, scientific spots. But uh, this is a very, uh, uh, you see the practical in the ACC in a Manchurian area, the quarry will be converted into that uh, boating purpose and uh, recreation for the tourism uh, visiting purpose also. Is this is one big, uh, which one is a very social responsibility of the mine management to restore that area, to not uh, leaving as after uh, getting out, but it should be a responsibility of the, uh, the as a citizen uh, to in our and our society. Uh, this part is very essential. Uh, lifting and fencing arrangement. Some of the sometimes problem is there. Some uh, buffaloes or in our round is going on, or unwanted uh, some uh, laymen that don't know where is the what is going on. So they men can be dropped into that water will be may go into danger to the death is happening. So such condition enough uh, lighting arrangement has to be done both in the sides, the lit and uh, over the surface as per the norms laid down by the DJMS. Similarly, enough fencing arrangement has to be done in the outside, uh, in the outside uh, boundary of the pit as well as surrounding of the strategic plan and machinery. If uh, if the mine has been stipulated, uh, have been stipulated by the DJMS. Now, supply of electricity also one of the as per the norms. General power supply system in surface mine is required. Uh, production uh, now we are going to calculate the production capacity production given 10,000 tons is required as per so expected uh, tons the 30 ton per man ship overall OMS is the is, this is a general formula coal for mineral production in ton plus D into overburden in meter cube by divided by total uh, man ships that is a uh, one plus the stripping ratio where D is the density of the limestone ultimate stripping ratio will be in uh, mineral uh, in cubic meters given density limestone is 2.6 from here, you can get the, uh, this figure. So 30 is our uh, where the equation is at uh, 10,000 plus 2.6 into 1315 into a total man shift. So man shift is a 350 persons is required for the man shift. So this is general calculations for the how many peoples will be employed. The employment is required. So this is one part of the calculation procedure. And now I'm going to concluding the uh, uh, this uh, layout uh, problem. So I think you can understand the uh, the layout, uh, entire layout. Uh, I should go going for the back uh, same layout. Yes, I coming here. So this uh, this is a layout is a simple layout uh, problem. Uh, if uh, any limestone mine is uh, our target is ten thousand meter cube, 10,000 10, tons per day. Uh, the how if you are the missionaries deployment, manpower deployment, drilling and blasting activities, uh, 
transport system, matching of the equipment, uh, and also the cost you have to calculate. Uh, not, not only the uh, production side, and also end of the operations also, up to recrimination, revegetation, and uh, social responsibility. So these are all are coming to the layout problems. So layout is not a simply a mathematical calculation and also the deployment of the manpower, matching factor of the, uh, all the activity will be involving in, in this case. So uh, this is the major uh, activity, major uh, um, layout problems calculation purpose. Most of them the railway settings are not there, we can use the roads and So I think you can uh, able to understand the layout means Layout means the first uh, initial cut, that is uh, how many benches is required is the first ring, how many showers are required, one, how many hips, hips are required, and what type of mode of method is important, how much production we, will be meet by the, how many manpower is the one of the thing, and also the environmental is concerns to, to meet the complete layout will be uh, explainable. Otherwise, uh, the meaning of the, so that uh, the, according to that one can be go through the 20,000 to 10,000, 5,000 capacity can per day. You can go to the uh, depending upon our uh, approach, uh, you can give the economical point of view uh, one figure for the layout problem is concerned. Let us come to the which one uh, simple uh, power factor problem calculation I've given here. Please practice it in our uh, home and submit it. In an ore button bench of the iron ore, I didn't have a lime suit, it's not iron ore name given here. The following data is the height of the is a 10 meters, and the button is a 4 meters, and the spacing is a 3 meters. And subgrade length is a 1 meter, uh, streaming length is a 3 meters. So, streaming is a different, and uh, subgrade is different. So, overall uh, depth will be 11 meters coming. So in which uh, three meters is when uh, around another uh, eight meters will be the um, uh, explosive can be used. So this is four into three is the volume and 10, 11 is the depth. So that volume will be getting. So we have calculated the for first dimension of the uh, one hole, how much volume will be getting and divided by the explosives required. So what is the explosive column? 100 mm dia is the explosive column. Space grade explosive given. Uh, and also the explosive uh, specific grad also are given so that the uh, volume of the divided divided by the uh, volume of uh, specific grad, uh, explosive uh, then we get the powder factor so by this uh, formula we can simply calculate the, this uh, simple example now SNM is also again what is the defined the terms uh, production what is the productivity so you can understand what is the mean by production and productivity uh, so that uh, you can understand the uh, increasing of production is what way what the productivity will be getting so this is the uh, one assignment for you and frequently asking question is nothing but uh, these layout problems uh, draw the layout and explain the all the parameters required the layout is a uh, general assignment so now i am concluding here silver Thank you.